How's it going, tubes? Oh, frig. Oh, yeah. Look at that, eh? Got the GoPro mounted on the freaking top. She's mounted fairly rigidy. It's a bit flimsy back in here on these things, eh? But uh, just being the freaking, you know, cheesy, but I'm sure it'll work. Um, so let's fire this puppy up here. Let's see the screen come on. So there you go, there's your freaking uh, view as your RC in, and you can adjust that a bit if you want to see a bit more of the truck, or up higher if you don't want to see too much of the truck. So I got her high, high, high too because I didn't want it too low, and just looking at the top of the freaking truck, you know, so you get a bit of airage. But um, I could probably go up. One more little wee piece here that I've got, but I'm freaking missing one of the uh, the Deweys that go in there. I guess I could yank that guy out of there, you know, but uh, eh, that's probably going to be high enough. As soon as that freaking does a wheelie and flips over, it's just going to shred that camera off of there, so that'll be awesome. So, yeah, um, not too sure exactly when I'm going to be getting to this part of it, uh, the actual driving, but uh, soon, I'm hoping soon. So, yeah, I had to switch the, uh, that's the freaking stock one to come on, and it was just too floppy, floppy, where I got this guy here, and he's a little rigidier, a little rigidier, but I almost need something just mounting there, too. If I could get two things where those uh, body post things come up, that'd be awesome, but, uh, oh, well, we'll try her like that, I guess. So, yeah, we're looking good, but, uh, I haven't checked the, uh, truck over too much yet, but uh, that is a, a freaking new body here that I can't get out now, so that's awesome. There we go. But I uh, figured to leave it clear. I'll pull the the uh, covering off and maybe a couple little decals here and there, you know, it's a Bill's T-Max promotional kind of thing. And uh, But uh, leave her clear and then you'll be able to see the, the truck working and stuff, you know, as we're driving, you know, and the, the frickin' cams and the springs and crap, and you probably won't see much of this going here, but, um, yeah, so it'll be, uh, pretty sweet. She's still frickin' dirty from last time, though. It's horrible, eh? But, uh, away she goes. Away she goes, so, yeah, I'm gonna just put the two, uh, two, um, two cells in. That'll be enough for that, so three cells on, six cells, basically, on two batteries is a bit insane on this thing, so... But, uh, yeah, so we're ready to go GoPro, GoPro will go home. So I'm gonna get this out and make sure she's got a bit of a charge in her. And I got the waterproof one on there, you know, cause I figured, well, you're not gonna hear anything but a, like a drill sound with this thing anyways, with the freaking brushless in it. So, um, everything else should be good. She should be ready, I've upgraded these uh, steel shafts, all the drive shafts. From the uh, plasticky ones, I'll show you the plasticky ones. So there's a plasticky one, and uh, you end up losing these stupid little clips on here. Like, look at the size of my thumb compared to this clip, it's freaking tiny. And uh, I'm trying to get them on and stuff, and you know, they get sloppy too, you know. And you can see the that's not a round hole in there anymore, and uh, I think this end's even, even worse, yeah. It's actually broken this one here, so. I thought, no, that's enough of that crap. We'll get uh, freaking uh, some uh, freaking uh, metal ones and put them on. So there's my pearl slash up there, and I even got metal shafts for it, and I haven't even put them on because I, I don't really drive that thing anymore. But uh, you know, I got parts from all and stuff. There's the shafts there for the slash, so and a uh, bunch of spurs and stuff for it. You know, still got lots of parts, so what the heck was that for? Skid plate revo, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, break those too sometimes, not too often, but there's some freaking carriers for the slash over here. Bearings and everything in them. So I had a good guy on uh, eBay there that I was getting stuff from. So, you know, uh, A-arms and stuff for the T-Max and everything. And here's stuff for Offna for the for the buggy with the freaking truck engine in it. It's a bit sick. I think it was like rat snot, but kind of kind of not uh, liking the nitro too much anymore. So there's a couple of diffs. You blow them a lot from too much power. Those are about 50 bucks a piece for those stupid things. And uh, what else we got here? We got a, there's some uh, stock shafts for the slash. Blew a lot of them out. They just twist their twist too, and it's pretty awesome. And there's a huge uh, freaking bolt. If you've never seen one that big before, eh? Big mother. Holy. So there's a freaking fuel tank for the, for the T-Max. Yeah. Are you playing World of Tanks? Yeah. Did you die? No. You killed him? How many no. did you get? None. Oh, Dale. I got stuck between a rock and a tank. Oh, you smushed you in, did he? Yeah. Oh, dear. But so we're just starting up the uh, second battery here. And, uh, yeah, two so. Yeah, yeah. And uh, here you can see what the, the cells are at now. And they should be about 420 when they're done. So that other one took about 1,400 milliamps out of 8,000. So that's pretty good. These batteries are so huge, with two of these in there, you can go like 45 minutes of like solid running, you know, and hard running too. And you almost like you're getting tired of running, it's getting kind of boring almost, right? So, freak sakes. There's a freaking motor mount for uh, T Max too, for uh, $13.99. I bet you they're about 20 bucks now. <laughs> and mounting the slash tires, mounting the buggy tires, those things are fun. Yeah. And some more buggy tires, not even used buggy tires, those are like original ones, those are originals that came on it that I burned all off and I got another set just because, holy freak, and there's a set there for the, the Revo, freaking uh, $32.99 set, but look at the horniness on them things, they're just wicked spiky, you know, and there's Daily's collection, sort of a custom body I did there before I did vinyl stuff, so that was awesome, and uh, those are wheelie kings, he loves them, right? Love them? Yeah. Your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, especially with a brushless in it. Just shreds the transmission apart, but it's fun. Yeah. There's um, wheels for those, uh, rims for those wheels. Gotta glue them on. And there's uh, center shafts, I believe it is, for the Revo. I haven't put them on yet. Uh, performance accessories, these were friggin' expensive. I don't even have a price on them, but yeah, drive shaft center e Revo. You uh, should really have those on, I guess, but I haven't blown one off yet, so I haven't uh, put them on yet. So there's the poor old MO3 that we used to race around the gyms and freaking Mr. Bean. And he's been hacked and beat and had miles put on him. I had a brushless motor in that guy, one of these Valenians, like that, Trek with Valenians, stuffed in this thing, and it was so incredibly stupid fast. The uh, tires would balloon up so much pfft, that they'd wear like tread out right in the middle. It was, it was insane. And uh, ran good though. Freaking pretty fast on the asphalt. So there's the uh, <clears throat> my 11 ones. So you put two of those in, it just goes completely retardedly ballistic. They're only a 20C though, but I'll tell you, it's all you can hold on to. And the poor old Bill's T Max. Oh boy. Oh boy, little pull starter. Yeah, it's got an OS uh, 21 TM in it. I uh, don't like the three threes that come in them. I just burn them right out because they're junk. So give her a pull, Dilly. I might need a. That's okay. Can you get it? Yeah. Very good. Oh, pardon my French. So we'll get that guy going someday, but uh, there's a lot more to uh, getting that thing going than there is to uh, just freaking plug and play like these guys. Hey, eh? that's why I got this, you know. Freaking nitro, you got to tune it, you got to fill them up, you're always running out of gas. You got to clean air filters all the time. Oh, they're messy, they stink. They go out of tune, like we've got one day that's cooler and the next day's hotter, it's out of tune. That's what I found anyways. You got to retune them. What the frick are you doing? 
You weird. All right, tubers, I'm gonna show you my turkey legs. Someone's a real turkey, I'll tell you that. Oh. Okay, so it's not a super long video today. Apologize for that, but it's uh, not much going on, I guess, today. So, what do you got there, Dale? Are we gonna open that or what? Yeah. It's not gonna be another one of those stupid swimming pool things, though, is it? I hope not. Oh man. Okay, Dale, you gonna rip it open? You gotta rip the tag off first, remember? Yeah. Whoa! Don't let her throw ya. Pull that thing off. Stupid thing! Stupid thing! Did you get her knotted up? Oh, hold on, tubes. Oh, 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 oh. Did you get her? Yeah. Are you just new here? Oh, boy. I'm gonna get rid of this thing without it's flying away. Pull the little thingy off the bottom. And I had trouble with my last one, so... Yeah, there we go. That worked better. That's a little more better. Oh! Oh! Is he pecking out? Just, just never mind eating it right now. Holy! Okay, tubes. Oh, I'm not liking the sound of that. <laughs> What is it, Dilly? It can't be one of those stupid swimming pooly thingies again. Mm. Oh, they, oh, something different! <laughs> oh, friggin' rights, it's something different! What did we get, Dilly? Oh, um, man, there's all these jungly, gungly thingies and stuff. And Oh, boy, this is going to take some assembly. <laughs> some assembly might be required. <laughs> okay. Okay, Dale, what's it do, bud? Holy cow! That's a bit weird. Give her, bud. Nice! He scores! That's pretty cool. These things are sort of rubbery-ish, right? Mm. right? And there's the, that's the hardest one to get. Oh, boy! You almost went 3D into the tuber's faces there, Dale. Holy! That's the cheating one. That's the easy one. You can get that no problem. See? Oh yeah. Nice job, buddy. Say, yep, I know. I'm the best. You can say that. I'm SMRT! Huh? I'm SMRT! SMRT! <laughs> Honestly, he's never watched The Simpsons, but he knows how to spell smart. How? SMRT! SMRT! Okay, Tubes, so I figured I'd give you a little freaking uh, world's most amazing fact here as well. Um, you guys might, might like this and might not like this one. So it says here, in the courts of Ro the Roman Empire, instead of swearing on the oath of, of a Bible, or the Bible, uh, men swore to the truth uh, on their statements while holding their genitals. The thingies down below... Uh, hence the word testify from testicles. So I don't know how that worked. If they knew they were lying, they were squeezing harder or something, and the freaking uh, face would change or something, then they knew you were lying. I don't know. Thanks for watching, Tubes. And if you play with the bull, you'll get the horn.